Corey Coco Golf came out hot. Got the early break. She had five aces. That's right, five aces in before two service games. Then she ran into a brick wall. That brick wall was Ekaterina Alexandrova from Russia. She's hot, ladies and gentlemen. 6-0 on grass so far this year, and she's used to the surface. Coco's a pretty good grass player. Historically, she's done well. Bursting on the scene at 15 years old, we all know what she did at Wimbledon four years ago. The magic was in the air. Taking on Alexandrova, she does own the head-to-head. -head. They played once in Dubai on hard, and of course that went over. The first set goes over nine and a half games, but Coco losing. Let's take a look how, for some reason, they're tracking forehand unforced errors today. That's interesting. The count is 14, but I'll be honest with you, unforced? No, I don't think so, maybe forced. Coco is going toe-to-toe -to -toe baselining with one of the strongest baseliners on the tour. I say it all the time. Who's stronger than Alex and drove on the baseline? All wait. Your time is up. Nobody. She is one of the strongest baseliners in the game. The six ace count, amazing, but she had five in before her first two service games. Huge drop off in aces from there. She's winning a lot of points on her first serve, but she's not getting them in. 44% after coming out the gates, blasting rockets. But the only rockets right now are coming from Russia. And Katarina gets the job done, six breakpoint opportunities. All she needed was two to win the first set. She's not playing overly aggressive, to be honest with you. Coco's just playing into her style of play. Coco needs a better game plan. I haven't seen a drop shot yet. I haven't seen her redirect a slice. I haven't seen her try to change the tempo of the rallies. What's going on with the strategies here? Ooh, Coco might be in trouble. Down a set. The grass invasion by Russia continues.